About a year ago, I had a show at the Jacoby Art Center, and I worked with Penny on that. And at the time, she mentioned the opportunity of this project here at the Audubon Center. And um, I thought it sounded like a really fun, different, kind of exciting uh, venue. I've never really shown work outside, so it afforded me the opportunity to, opportunity to work larger and, and also collaboratively. The piece is called Confluence, and it was inspired, you know, we kind of had to title it before we even knew what we were making, and because we're right near the confluence of the rivers, uh, we thought it might be appropriate. This is the first time, like I said, that we've been collaborating, and so it's kind of a confluence of ideas, and then we thought about making a pair of pieces. Although we didn't know what they were going to be, we wanted to create kind of that relationship or dialogue between the two pieces. So, I've always liked to work uh, with kind of building things and in sort of creating environments that people can move around and see and experience in a sort of a theatrical kind of way. It's really fun to work with another artist. It, it just, um, to kind of bounce ideas, you know, share the responsibility of the idea make, or the decision making and you know it's that's a really fun thing and just giving up control yeah like Anne right. was like we got to bundle up all this weed and i was like okay and we just started bundling up <laughs> why what are we gonna do <laughs> we had about 70 pounds of weeds i was like <laughs> okay we keep going not really knowing we just start trusting with the process and yeah it was kind of that sense of fun and play Well, the inspiration for them is the shape of reliquaries, those things that were made in the Renaissance to hold the bones of saints, and they were very complex combinations of shapes, and then they held the sacred object. But with these cairns, um, the sacred object is not inside, but the nature outside of them. Watershed Cairns has been doing artwork marking the Mississippi River, um, which as you know is an important bird flyway. And uh, we recently completed a piece marking the confluence of the Mississippi and Missouri Rivers just five miles from here. So uh, we have pieces that are about this local very important place. The Mississippi Missouri River watershed is the third largest watershed in the world that puts us up there with the Amazon and the Congo and we live here we don't appreciate it right and um, also it is fragile like the glass that I make the pieces out of and um, we hope that when people look at our photographic images and at the cairns they say oh they're fragile do you leave them there won't they break well the point is that we're kind of breaking the water right now and hopefully some of that empathetic response to the artwork will transfer to taking care of our clean fresh water